Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. Good afternoon and uh, welcome to another edition of our Instagram live uh, session. My name, like I always say, has not changed. My name remains Azu Arinzi and my guest this um, beautiful afternoon is the godfather, Mr. EGK Atiebu. All right. Mr. EGK Asiebu, actor, producer, and director in uh, Nollywood. He is a native of uh, Omaha in Abia State. He is married to the love of his life, Ogechi, and the union is blessed with uh, children. Among them is a set of uh, twins. He was educated. Then, anyway, let me talk about his uh, tertiary education at the Institute of uh, Management and Technology, Enugu, from where he later proceeded to the University of uh, Port Harcourt, where he read the uh, theater arts. The Godfather, like he is widely known, was at a point the personal assistant to the great Ikemba Nehu, Jim Chukwe Makao Dumebu he was equally um, the president of the Nigerian Guild of Editors. He was also the student union government president <laughs> at the University of uh, Port Harcourt. Um, this afternoon, I'll be taking him up on all those uh, great achievements, plus uh, other issues. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is the Yes NG TV, T H E Y E S N G T V. Now, my first question I want to this way How did you fall in love with acting? Let's start on that premise. Yeah, incidentally, um, and I'll need to quickly add that um, I started acting from. Um, 1977, so to speak, uh, when wow. you talk about acting, 77 is about almost 42, 43 years. It could even be more than that because um, in our days, I belong to a dramatic society in my secondary school days, um, talking about um, catching them young. And the name of the secondary school that I attended is... Um, Abdul Aziz Atta Memorial College, Okene. Abdul Aziz Atta Memorial College, Okene. And of course, um, I was um, in the 1974-75 uh, session. Uh, I, I was in Form 1 within that period. So, um, back in the days, we had all the subjects. And of course, um, literature, I was a very good uh, student of literature. I was very, very good. And um, my lecturer then, um, Dr. Umayo Madukwe, whom I later met at the uh, Institute of Management and Technology, uh, galvanized, nurtured. When he saw my interest, uh, he was quick to help me accelerate my interest. So that by the time we had met again, when I went to IMT Enugu, um, we had to form a theater group, which is called the Bass Theater, Basic Association Students. Because in IMT, I, I started with my A-levels, and um, uh, on completion, of course, I could not make my all my top grades, which was, of course, back in the days, before you have a direct entry. You are talking about 15, 16 points for you to make it. But unfortunately, I was shot. I think I had about another seven, seven uh, uh, points or eight points. But having said that, uh, that did not stop me. 
I went further, I uh, had admission uh, to continue in IMT in, in marketing. Uh, again, that was short-lived when I also proceeded to the renowned, of course, um, great University of Port Harcourt. We call it the unique Uniport, where I went to continue to sojourn. But whilst I was there in Enugu, uh, let me also tell the viewership and those who are watching that I was not just only a member of Bath Theatre, it was the period that Jim Wobodo was the governor of old Anambra State. Uh, Anambra State has not been mutilated, it has been reduced. Uh, then, of course, um, in 1979, he, as governor, then governor of uh, old Anambra State, he opened um, uh, ABS, Anambra Broadcasting Service, who had uh, ABS television. Of course, you had NTA. I am an old school of NTA. Then uh, myself, uh, uh, you, we also had uh, people like Inkemowo, my very good brother and friend, uh, Kanayo Kanayo. Of course, later, Maka Igwe was a speechwriter as well as uh, Nkemowo. Of course, um, uh, we had lots of, uh, some of us who started some of our career uh, acting on television apart from school. And... Um, I was also in Bassi and Company because then we had all sorts of uh, productions. One apart from the NTA Nafete productions, uh, which myself, uh, the likes of KOK, and um, a host of other renowned actors and respected Uncle uh, Peter Dochier, of course. Of course, you know, he was on, from television. Uh, he was on radio television, but also was acting, you know, from time to time. Uh, let me quickly also uh, tell the listenership and viewership that um, back in the days when we had uh, Things Fall Apart, I was also a member of cast of Things Fall Apart, briefly, but could not finish with them because of my education. I had exams, and uh, but I was cast. So, well, I will go on and on. I will allow you to go and fill your questions so that I do not uh, truncate your terrain of thought. Okay. All right. Thank Let's you. consider the, 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 the story you, you, you just told us. I mean, your career trajectory, you know, which uh, spans or which has spanned decades. What would you say has kept you going as an actor? Yeah. Um, the greatest thing, apart from, of course, God Almighty, first and foremost, He has been so wonderful to me, and uh, I recognize that. Uh, is humility. In life, you must learn uh, the secret of success is your humility because my father uh, told me um, that um, favor, you know, if you are humble, you have favor. So I am very lucky. I have not uh, forgotten everything my father uh, taught me whilst growing up. And um, also, whilst being humble, is to also respect everyone that you come across. It's very, very important. No matter how young, no matter how little, no matter how or whatever you think the person is, be yourself. To yourself, be real. And also contentment. There's nothing as good as contentment. You have to be contented at every sphere of life that you find yourself. Always say thank God for that. Interesting. Uh, I think these are the things that uh, I'm happy that I keep going. You know. Interesting.